There are more than 4 lakh varieties of plants found on earth. In order to study them in a systematic way, a classification is must. Plant kingdom has organisms that are multicellular, have cell walls and chlorophyll, produce their own food and physically don't move from one place to another. The earliest system of classification given by Carolus Linnaeus is known as artificial system of classification. It uses superficial morphological characters like habit, color, number of stamens and shape of leaves as the basis for classification. Artificial system of classification is not acceptable these days as vegetative characters are more easily affected by the environment and it does not tell anything about the natural relationship between its members. Natural system of classification was given by George Bentham and Joseph Dalton Hooker. This considers not only the external features but also the internal features like ultrastructure, anatomy, embryology and photochemistry. It helps in knowing the natural relationship between members of the same group. It is well accepted nowadays. We get support from evidences drawn from the fossils and it is assumed that organisms belonging to the same taxa have a common ancestor. In the absence of evidences from the fossils, help is taken from other sources like numerical taxonomy, number and codes are assigned to all the characters with equal importance. Hundreds of characters can be considered at a time. Data is then processed. Cytotaxonomy Number, structure and behavior of the chromosomes are considered. Chemotaxonomy Chemical constituents of the plants are taken into account. At the end of the lesson, the student will be able to Understand the plant kingdom and artificial and natural classification. Explain the phylum algae and its various classes. Explain the phylum bryophytes and its various classes. Explain the phylum pteridophytes and its various classes. Explain the phylum gymnosperms and its various classes. Explain the phylum angiosperms and its various classes. Plant life cycles and alternation of generations. Algae are chlorophyll bearing, simple, thalloid and autotrophic organisms. They are largely aquatic, both fresh and marine but are found in a variety of habitats like moist stones, soils and wood. They also occur on lichen association with fungi, animals like on sloth bear. Reproduction in algae Vegetative reproduction by fragmentation. In this case, each fragment develops into a new thallus. Asexual reproduction by flagellate zoospores give rise to new plants. Sexual reproduction takes place by fusion of two gametes. Economic value of algae. They are important as half of the carbon dioxide fixed on earth is from algae through the process of photosynthesis and these are primary producers in all aquatic food chains. 70% of them are edible. Yield algin and carrageen. Hydrocolloids, water-holding substances, produced commercially by brown and red algae, respectively. Spirulina, 
a food supplement used by malnourished patients and space travelers. Chlorophyce, green algae. The characteristic features are unicellular, colonial, or filamentous body. Presence of chlorophyll A and B as a pigment material for the process of photosynthesis. Presence of pyrenoids for the storage of food material like protein and starch. Sometimes storage of food in the form of oil droplets in some algae. Presence of rigid cell wall made up of the inner layer of cellulose and outer layer of pectose. Reproduction by various means like vegetative, asexual and sexual. Vegetative reproduction by fragmentation. Asexual reproduction by flagellated zoospores produced in zoosporangia. Sexual reproduction, isogamous, anisogamous or oogamous. Examples, Chlamydomonas, Volvox, Eulothrix, Spirogyra, Chara, etc. Theophyce, brown algae. The characteristic features are Marine habitat, simple branched, ectocarpus. Filamentous to profusely branched, reaching up to 100 meters in height, kelp. Plant body has stalk as type. Leaves are like fronds and hold fast to hold the body to the substratum. Presence of chlorophyll A, C, fucoxanthin, carotenoids, and xanthophylls as pigment materials which gives various colors from olive green to brown. Storage of food material in the form of laminarin and mannitol. Cellulosic cell wall covered by a gelatinous coating of algin. Vegetative reproduction by fragmentation. Asexual reproduction by pear-shaped biflagellate zoospores with two unequal laterally attached flagella. Sexual reproduction, isogamous, anisogamous, or oogamous. Pyriform or pear-shaped gametes bearing two laterally attached flagella. Examples, ectocarpus, ductiota, laminaria, sargassum, and fucus, etc. Rhodophyce, red algae. The characteristic features are marine habitat, multicellular thalli with complex body organization. Pigments are phycoerythrine, phycocyanine, chlorophyll A and D. Vegetative reproduction by fragmentation. Asexual reproduction by non-motile spore. Sexual reproduction. Ogamous type of sexual reproduction takes place by non-motile gametes and accompanied by complex post-fertilization developments. Examples Polysiphonia, Gracilaria, Galladium, etc. Bryophytes Amphibians of plant kingdom. They need water for sexual reproduction and can live on soil. Damp, humid and shaded habitat. Moses and liverworts, main plants. Thallus or plant body more differentiated. It is prostrate in shape or erect. Lack true stem, leaf and root but have similar structures. Attached to the substratum by unicellular or multicellular thread-like structures called rhizoids. Reproduction in bryophyte's main plant body is the gametophyte as it is haploid and produces gametes. The sex organs are multicellular and jacketed, that is, have a jacket of sterile cells. Reproductive structures. Male sex organ. Antheridium produces antherozoids. Female sex organ. Archgonium receives antherozoids at its mouth. Fertilization and Development Antherozoids, released into water, 
where they fuse with the egg to form zygote. Zygote does not undergo reduction division immediately and grows into sporophyte, which is not independent, and grows on photosynthetic gametophyte. Some cells of sporophyte divide meiotically to produce haploid spores, which germinate to give rise to gametophyte. Economic importance of bryophytes provides food for herbaceous animals like mammals, birds and other animals. Sphagnum provides peat, which is used as fuel and packing material for transshipment of living material due to its water holding capacity. They are the pioneer species in ecological succession as they can decompose the rocks. Help to stop the soil erosion as they form a covering on the soil. Liver warts grow in moist, shady places like banks of the streams, marshy ground, damp soil, bark of trees, and deep into the woods. Dorso ventrally, a pressed thalloid body to the substrate. Leafy members have green appendages in two rows on a stem-like structure. Asexual reproduction occurs by fragmentation, but also occurs by gamay, which are green, multicellular buds developing into cup-like structures. These gamay, on detachment, grow into new individuals. Sexual reproduction in liverworts. Male and female sex organs develop either on the same or on separate thalli. Sporophyte body divided into foot, seta and capsule. In capsule, haploid spores are produced after meiosis, which germinate into free-living gametophyte. Mosses. The main body gametophyte consists of two stages. Protonema, a creeping, green-branched, thalloid structure that develops directly from the spore. Leafy stage develops from the secondary protonema as a lateral bud. It has main axis, spirally arranged leaves and rhizoids. This stage bears the sex organs. Vegetative reproduction occurs by fragmentation and budding in the secondary protonema. Sexual reproduction occurs by antheridia and archegonia, which are produced at the apex of a leafy shoot. Zygote develops into sporophyte, which has foot, seta, and capsule. Capsule contains spores formed after meiosis. Spores get dispersed by elaborate mechanism and then germinate to produce gametophyte, example, funaria, sphagnum, etc. Stereodophytes includes horsetails and ferns. They are the first terrestrial plants which possess xylem and phloem, found in cool, damp and shady places. However, some grow in sandy soils. Main plant body is sporophyte, which is differentiated into true stem, leaves and roots. Sporophytes bear sporangia, present on the undersurface of leaves, sporophylls. Sporangia produce spores by meiosis in spore mother cells. Spores grow in free-living photosynthetic thalloid gametophytes called prothallus. Reproduction in pteridophytes Life cycle exhibits an alternation of generations between gametophytes and sporophytes. Gametophyte bears reproductive structures. Male sex organ, antheridium, produces antherozoids. Female sex organ, archgonium, receives antherozoids at its mouth. Water is required for the transfer of antherozoids. Fertilization takes place in archgonium and it is followed by zygote formation, which does not undergo reduction division immediately. It grows into multicellular and well-differentiated sporophyte. Some pteridophytes produce all the spores of similar kinds, and these plants are called homosporous. Example, equisetum. 
some produce two kinds of spores, macro, large, and micro, small. They are called heterosporous. Example, Selaginella. The megaspores and microspores give rise to female and male gametophytes, respectively. The female gametophytes are retained on the parent sporophyte for variable periods. The zygote develops into a young embryo within the female gametophyte. This kind of embryo development is the precursor to the seed habit, which is an important step in the process of evolution. Main classes of pteridophytes Cilopocida, example, Silutum Lycopocida, example, Selaginella, Lycopocida Sphenopocida, example, Equisetum Teropocida, example, Dryopteris, Pteris, Adientum, etc. Economic value of pteridophytes, they are used for medicinal purposes, as soil binders, as ornamental plants, for food for the removal of heavy metals, especially arsenic from the soil. In order to study about 4 lakh varieties of plants present on the earth in a systematic way, a classification is must. Plant kingdom has organisms that are multicellular, have cell walls and chlorophyll, produce their own food and physically don't move from one place to another. It includes algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms and angiosperms. Algae are chlorophyll bearing, simple, thalloid and autotrophic organisms. There are three types algae having different types of chlorophyll, pigments chlorophyce, pheophyce and rhodophyce. Algae reproduce vegetative by fragmentation, asexually by the formation of zoospores and sexually by the fusion of gametes. Bryophytes are known as amphibians of plant kingdom because they need water for sexual reproduction and can live on soil. Thallus or plant body of bryophytes are more differentiated, but they lack true stem, leaf and root. The main plant body is the gametophyte as it is haploid and produces gametes. The bryophytes can be classified as liverworts and mosses. The liverworts has thalloid and androsoventral plant body, whereas the plant body of mosses are upright slender axis bearing spirally arranged leaves. Male sex organ of bryophytes is antheridium, produces biflagellate gametes called antherozoids. Female sex organ is archegonium, flask shaped and produces single egg. The male and female gametes produced fuse to form zygote. Pteridophytes include horse tails and ferns. They are the first terrestrial plants which possess xylem and phloem. The main plant body is sporophyte which is differentiated into true stem, leaves and roots. The sporophyte has sporangia which form spores. The spores on germination form gametophytes. The gametophytes bear male called antheridia and female sex organs known as archgonia. After fertilization, zygote is formed, which produces a sporophyte. Gymnosperms are the plants in which the ovules are not enclosed by any ovary wall, and it remains exposed both before and after the fertilization. The gymnosperms form microspores and megaspores, which are formed in microsporangia and megasporangia on the sporophylls. The sporophyll arranged spirally on the axis to form cones. Microsporophylls form male cone and megasporophylls forms female cone. The pollen tube releases the male gamete into the ovule after germination. 
the male gametes in ovule fuse with the egg cell in archgonia and form the zygote. After the fertilization, the zygote develops into an embryo and the ovules into seeds. In angiosperms, the pollen grains and ovules are developed into specialized structures called flowers and the seeds are enclosed within the fruits. Depending on the cotyledons in the seeds, the angiosperms are divided into the dicotyledons and the monocotyledons. The flower has male sex organs called stamen and female sex organs known as pistil. The stamen produces pollen grains, the male gametophyte after meiosis. The pistil has ovary which encloses one too many ovules. The female gametophyte or embryo sac are also found within the voles which contains the egg cell. The pollen tube after entering into the embryo sac releases two male gametes out of which one male gamete fertilizes with the egg cell and this process is known as syngamy and the other fertilizes with diploid secondary nucleus and the process is called triple fusion. This phenomenon of two fusions in angiosperms is known as double fertilization.